who have put that forth, and it has been more effective against Navarrete as he lands a right hand to the body. Well, that's the right idea. Foot movement, the right kind of movement, not wasted. When he attacks you, it's when you least expect it. Three-punch combination finished with the left uppercut. Opens up with a wide sweeping left hand to close out round number one. Title on the line at 126 pounds. I think Diaz did exactly mm. there it is. what you're supposed to do when you're facing an awkward fighter. You don't get awkward with them. You stay composed. You stay under your feet, meaning both of your feet. Over that jab of Navarrete. That's what you need to do. You need to time it. Navarrete, he shoots his punches from his hips sometimes. And you can catch him over the top if you counter him, if you time him perfectly. Ooh, big right hand. And then on the inside, Diaz getting off to that body. Navarrete placing that right hand moments ago. Mm. Three punch combination from Diaz. Diaz is seeing that a mile away, and he's either countering or getting out of harm's way. Pedro Navarrete told me that he wants Emmanuel to start cutting off the exits and pick up his work rate to break down Christopher Diaz. Not as many exits when you're 18 by 18 inside the ropes. Of Diaz. He just did. That's what he's doing. Now he's picking up the oh, pace. Oh, good shot. That awkward, long, lunging left hand from the champion. And now this is the volume, and this is the offensive attack we're used to seeing from Navarrete. Yeah, that's vintage Navarrete right there. And then he finds his opponent, Diaz, off balance, and he immediately lunges in and comes with the left uppercut again. Can change or mount his own attack. Maybe change the game plan a little bit. One of the things that you can do when you have a fighter like Navarrete that gets off and gets going, you got to tie him up, break his rhythm. That's what you do, looking for the fight. Right hand comes in from Navarrete. There are those opportunities to punch within these big punches that many have described as long and slow, but we know they've been effective. Left hand to the body from Diaz. Right. And when you think he's going to rest, he's punching. When you think he's out of position, he's actually in position. That's what's difficult to deal with. See a little bit of swelling under the eye, the right eye of Diaz. We'll monitor that. Big output in that round from Navarrete. Fight coming up in May. Mm. Good exchange that time. Right hand score. Navarrete now closing in behind the jab. Diaz doing a good job of blocking that right hand, and then he goes to the body with a left of his own. Digs that's underneath the, the elbow. Yes, that's the answer right there for Diaz. You're already the shorter fighter, so why not shoot a body shot when you're down there? Oh! oh! There's that left lead uppercut, and the knockdown is scored! Six, seven, Never saw it. Eight, His signature five, punch, eight, and he cashes in. So hard to defend against. The uppercut right up the middle. You think that you covered up. You think that you have your guards up, and he splits it with a beautiful uppercut as Diaz tried to move out to get away from his attack. But it was that feint. It was the feint with the right hand. He looked as if he wanted to throw it. Diaz expect that right there. Mm. Diaz covered up with the left hand, and he never saw Take the left out. uppercut getting through. It was the feint that set that shot up. Navarrete tries to get the right hand in. Diaz moves out to the side. And now he punches back with a sweeping left of his own. But you never know when it's coming. When you least expect it. And you just shake your head and say, how in the world did this guy make 122 pounds? How? We asked him if he had a nutritionist. He said, no, 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 I don't like those. I, I, he said, I want to eat what I want to eat. He said, in fact, I eat food from my town. He's the one that brought it up to us. We didn't ask him about what his future holds. He said he started asking us about matchups at 130 pounds. Diaz looking to place that left hand between Navarrete's nonstop attack here in round five. Good stuff here. Final minute of round five. It's about to turn into a fight. Earlier than expected. Diaz said he wanted to box, he wanted to use movement early, and then second half of the fight, 
let it go where it needs to go. Fourth round, alter yes. the early game plan. You start to get the answer as he comes ahead with a three-punch combination. The taller, longer champion in the black trunks scored the knockdown in round four against the local favorite, Christopher Diaz. He has a 71 to 43 connect advantage, does Navarrete. Diaz right now is doing the right thing, trying to get into the body of Navarrete. He understands that when he hits him down to the body, he doesn't work. He doesn't work as much as he does from the outside. He needs to back Navarrete up, and he's going to have to walk through some punches to do it. But yep. Navarrete's normally used to being the guy who's backing limpio, limpio, fighters up. So when you turn the tide, you see Navarrete looks just a little bit different on his back foot. It's great rotation right there from Navarrete to be able to be able to still just shift his body to throw that uppercut right in the midst of fire. Look at that. The only punch that Diaz has gotten a reaction from Navarrete about is body shots. I'm seeing the same thing, partner. Warning from Samuel Burgos. There's a left hand right in the belt line again. But the dangerous thing for Diaz going down to the body, he has to be careful with those uppercuts. That uppercut. Sneaking underneath because when you go to the body, you're exposed. They're backing up. And did you see that left hand that he just threw? Good combination from Diaz. It looked like the body shots are starting to affect him right now. Now that they try to sell it. He did. He looked at the ref. Ref said, that was good. Let's go. But like I said, he's exposed for the uppercut, as you can see right now. No, that, that body shot was good right there. Very good exchanges to open up round seven. Oh, he just missed on that right hand over the top of the left of Navarrete. Navarrete has come out throwing combinations. Now on the inside, Diaz, the shorter man, shorter arms, has to get to work when he's there. Both men opening up. And shorter arms, has to get to work when he's there. Both men opening up. This is taking on a really good tone, isn't it? Good pace here as they are just throwing. This is not the fight that Diaz wanted. There's always a wrinkle. There's always an opening for your opponent. Nobody's invincible. And Navarrete's weakness is going backwards and on the inside. Doesn't mean he won't punch, but he's vulnerable. Diaz has to fight this kind of fight. There's already a 10-8 round banked with the knockdown. Now the point deduction here. Diaz has to hit the gas pedal. You're in the corner of Diaz. You got to tell your fighter, plan A is out the window. Keep a tight defense, and you got to fight fire with fire. That's how Diaz can win this fight. Look at this stuff. Here comes the answer. The answer's coming right now from Diaz. See a little bit of blood from the nose of Diaz. They've been trying to take care of some swelling that showed up earlier just above the right eye. Reaching with that right hand. Oh, there's that uppercut. Two-punch combination from Navarrete. Tried to wrap around the left hand under the right elbow as well. Navarrete is sitting back. He's looking for the uppercut. That's what he's looking for. He's looking to line one up. Vicious uppercut on Diaz. Test the body work of Diaz is paying good dividends. You can see the effect, you see the lows in offense from Navarrete. See if Diaz can get back to it. Diaz has to take those steps forward and he does. <laughs> Uppercut in the midst of it and he goes down again. Beautiful combination from Navarrete. Oh, brutal shot right Such there. Such a thud. Uppercut comes in. Diaz is wrapping up. Straight back goes Diaz and coming forward like a freight train comes.
comes Navarrete. Second knockdown oh, score of this eight. eighth round. Bloodied, Seven. battered, eight. damaged eight. is Diaz. Test. He got a fight. He's going for broke. Just fight. Throwing it all out there while taking extreme punishment. Nelson Rodriguez just told me, look, Christopher is a puncher. We've got a puncher's chance, but he's got to do this, and he can't stand in front of Navarrete. Just told me, look, Christopher is a puncher. We've got a puncher's chance, but he's got to do this, and he can't stand in front of Navarrete. Got to keep an eye on that. Diaz with an opportunity and placed a right hand in the midst of those punches. He's got heart. You look at his face. And you look at what Mike Basil, the cut man, had to deal with after that eighth round. Andre's card is dotted with damage to Diaz. The three knockdowns, you got a 10-7 eighth round with two knockdowns there. And Everett just got away from him. Hands were down and that left hook came in. Navarrete got a chin on him. What did he say to you when we met with him yesterday? Got to beat him. It's a tough question. I, tough question to answer right now, but he's going to be a tough out for anybody. He's been game. He's been willing. But Navarrete, so unconventional, so powerful, so long, and he's done serious damage. Diaz, six minutes to try to find something. Want to let everybody know that at the conclusion of our championship fight, we're going to go over to the ESPN app, ESPN Plus, for extended coverage of this spectacular night of fights. Here's Diaz trying to get to the inside, and Navarrete returning fire. I have faith in you. There's no pain. There's no pain. There's no pain. Oh. As he's looking at that face filled with pain, and look at how oh. Diaz responds, and look at how Navarrete oh is God. willing to dish more out as Diaz is moving forward, lands a right hand, and he's got Navarrete against the ropes. And Navarrete says, we can do this all night long. 12th and final round, title on the line. It's up huge on the scorecards. And yet Diaz is landing some right hands here in this 12th and final round. Desperate for a knockout. Tessin, you're wondering how Diaz is able to do this after taking those shots and being down. I'm going to tell you right now. Navarrete closing oh in on goodness. defending his title. And Diaz on wobbly oh legs. How much can you possibly oh take goodness. and still be giving? Oh, Navarrete's damaging him badly. Got to get in there. Damaging him so badly. That's it, fellas. Got to be anymore. it. You don't need to go anymore. That's it. He That's just good. ragged on him. It's good. over. They're up on the apron. The fight is over. Unbelievable work by both guys. Sean Hart, Will, going down to the end of this round. You see Diaz takes a big punch right there. He's trying to give it all he got. He's trying to stay on his feet. Navarrete is just too strong coming from angles, different angles from the southpaw stance, the right-handed stance, and then down goes Diaz. Diaz gave everything that he had. You rarely see this in a boxing ring. You hear fighters talk about giving it everything they had. But until you put yourself in harm's way and risk getting knocked out or beat up, you haven't given everything that you have. Diaz did that. He came here to win a championship. Sometimes you don't leave with the championship. You don't leave with the victory, but you leave with your respect, and Diaz did that tonight. But until you put yourself in harm's way and risk getting knocked out or beat up, you haven't given everything that you have. Diaz did that.